Hey everybody, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you how to check your system information on your computer, very detailed in many different forms, different programs you can use, and also using Task Manager to figure out different things that are going on in your computer and stuff like that. So when we begin, uh, before we begin, I'm going to show you a couple of things. We're going to be using Specky, which you can check in the description to download. While you watch this video, you can just download. It's a very small file. Um, if you don't want to download it, let's just get on with the video and show you ways you can um, check your computer specs without having to be, without having to download anything really. Click start. If you're using Windows 7 um, or Windows XP, it really doesn't matter. Windows 7 was the Windows Vista, Windows XP. They all work the same way. Just click start, click computer or my computer, right click it and click properties. You'll be open, you'll open a window where it'll show you the system properties. Um, and right here automatically it shows you the different types of things you can see on your system. It gives you your rating, your 3.5 Windows Experience Index, which is the index that's given to you when you get your computer rated to see what kind of how how well your computer performs. 1.0 to 7.9, everything's running really well. The only low thing is my graphics card, which is an 8400 GS. You can see 3.5 uh, subscore, and your computer index is based on the the lowest subscore which is the graphics card I'm gonna get a new one soon my memory processor and gaming and primary hard disks disks are running very well so they get pretty high scores compared to um, some this is at, based on 7.9 I like to keep my computer very uh, well ran other things you can do is click advanced tools and you can view uh, different things like clearing your index, open resource monitor, performance monitor, and you can see different graphs of your system performance. This is this actually is only needed with Windows Vista or Windows 7, and you can see the detail on your network inf information, memory, how much bytes are being used, physical disk, things like that. What is being run run right now? And you can also read on about it and check it out on Google to see if you have any more questions on this. You can also check Task Manager, which is another way. Uh, you can see your system usage right now at the moment and also close programs, check uh, different services that are running at the moment. So in order to do this, you can either click Open Task Manager right here or a very easy way, you can just right click your taskbar, which is this little thing down here. Just click Start Manager with right clicking and you can see your applications that are running. This is recording. Processes, as you can see, these are the only processes that I like to run on my computer. You can click services to see the services that are running. Turn on your print spooler if you need to so that you can print things on your computer if you have any problems with that. You can also see your CPU usage, your memory, your physical memory usage, and your CPU usage history. Also your physical memory, what is being um, used and what is available. Uh, out of 3070, I have it allocated at 4070 with my virtual memory. You can change that as I'll show you later on. Your network usage, depending on what jumps and uh, how much bandwidth you're using at the moment, it'll make a big graph if your computer is very sporadic in its data, but I'm using Verizon Fios and it's running very smoothly. The only computer connected on my console is my uh, user and that's about it. I have nothing else logged off. You can also log off on different um, users using Task Manager and also disconnecting and things like that. We're going to close that and we're going to show you another way you can check your system information and also check your drivers now. So what we're going to do is click start, click computer or control panel, doesn't matter, click computer and you can click system properties which is another way to get there and you can click either device manager or advanced system settings. Now we're going to click advanced system settings to show you different ways you can check your performance and also change your virtual memory on your computer. We're going to click settings on performance advanced and as you can see it says total page filing size for all drivers is at 3070 megabytes you can change that and it'll tell you what is recommended it's currently allocated at 3070 but it's recommended to be at 4605 now if I do change it to my custom size as you can see, click uh, uncheck automatically and click custom size and set the initial size um, in and the minimum is allowed is 16 megabytes, but I like to keep that like 1080 or so on. But right now we're just going to keep this automatically. And once you're done uh, making your setting changes, again, don't go over recommended or else you have the risk of crashing your computer. Again, keep it at recommended and you should be fine. This is for running websites and checking out different data so that your computer can run um, newer browsers and things like that. And so, again, it says total page file size. Click set and it'll probably ask you to restart your computer. So, as you can see, it say restart your computer, but we didn't make any changes, so we don't have to worry about that really. You change your visual effects, adjust for best performance or best appearance. Best performance means it'll go into a Windows Arrow and run as if it were like Windows XP and use very little data. 
uh, and things like that. And we can also go to hardware to check our device manager where we can check all the hardware devices installed on my computer. Um, everything really. My computer, my disk drive, which are my uh, hard drives, my 120 gigabyte hard drive and my one terabyte hard drive. Display adapters, which are my uh, obviously my display ports and my uh, video card port. DVD drives, DVD slash CD drives, floppy. They basically are self-explanatory IDE, ATA, which are my Northbridge and things like that. Imaging devices, my webcam, keyboard, mice, modem installed on my computer, uh, my monitor, network adapters, my internet connection, which is my LAN connection, my VIARHINE, uh, Rhine 2 compatible fast Ethernet adapter. And if you have trouble trying to install an Ethernet adapter, which I highly doubt because you're watching this video right now, um, you can use um, drivers off the computer. And if you need to fix um, your drivers, let's say you have these little yellow icons, which means that the drivers are missing, you right click the um, one of the yellow icons, click update driver software, and it'll prompt you with two different options. Search automatically for updated driver software, and that will use the internet. But if you don't have internet, you can install it. Um, the Ethernet package off of Intel, off of Google, and it'll give you um, an option to browse my computer and find it through, uh, you know, using your computer, finding the USB drive, and you should be fine there. It should find it, and then it should install it right away. You can also um, burn it onto a CD and use the drives off of that forever. Ports, different ports I have installed. My processor, since there are two cores, it will show both cores. My sound, and also my system devices, very uh, variable in my USB controllers, which are all my USB ports and controller hubs and things like that. So that shows you what you can do with Device Manager and how to update drivers. Um, one last thing we're going to do is we're going to open a program called DS DX Diag. Um, these are the last of the uh, free ways of checking system information on your computer. So we're going to type in DX Diag or, and we can click that or click enter, or we can, if you're using uh, Windows uh, XP, you can type in CMD, and then you can either type in dxdiag.exe or just dxdiag and it'll find the program for you. dxdiag, and you click enter, it'll run it, and you can see it here, it'll pop up. Now, it'll load up to see if all these signatures for your computer are valid, and mine will load up very soon. Um, but this just tells you if everything's valid. Again, it shows you the date and time this time, my computer name, you can always change these things. Operating set system, Windows 7 Ultimate 64 bit, my language, my motherboard manufacturer, and my motherboard model, which is a very old model, not uh, sold anywhere anymore. Phoenix Award BIOS, which is a very old BIOS, and my very well running processor with the Pentium Dual CPU E2200 at 2.20 gigahertz. I haven't overclocked this and I don't plan to because my motherboard probably wouldn't support it and it has crashed before because of it. My memory, which is 4 gigabytes of RAM or 4096. Uh, megabytes of RAM and my page file and the available amount of page file I can use and uh, as well as my DirectX version again this is a DirectX diagnostic tool so you can run video games and things like that to check if your computer is compatible your display drivers and also your total memory for your display your um, display mode and also your sound here you can click input or you can click next page you can also click save all information to a text file save it on your computer and you'll have it readily available at your convenience at any time. Now the last thing we're going to do is check out a program called Specky created by Piriform. As again, I told you in the beginning, download it off of the description and it's a uh, program you download off of Piriform.com or look it up on Google. You'll find it at the website. Click download either from File Hippo or from the from the website itself. I don't trust CNET anymore because they try to give you um, a bunch of like extra program to have you download things and it's kind of like a downloader. It's kind of stupid. Don't Don't trust it. They might have changed it by now, depending on when you watch the video. Anyways, this is the operating system, CPU, this is the overview of my computer. Very detailed with this program, and it's free as well. Uh, operating systems, it shows you exactly what's running on your operating system, your scheduler, what needs to be updated, and what's going to run, my CPU, my different cores that are running, and how hot my computer is right now, and also my stock bus, and core, and rated speed, and things like that, my fan speed. Um, my RAM, which are two memory slots, so it'll show you both slot 1, right here, DDR2, and also slot 2, DDR2. Now we're going to go to the motherboard. As you can see, everything's very detailed, and you can also like open and close the arrows to 
give you different information, graphics card, hard drives, optical drives, audio, peripherals, and my network adapter on my computer, VIA Ryan 2, or my Hamachi network. Both run as different networks using different IPs and things like that. And that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Hope you uh, learned a lot. If you have any questions, please leave your comments below. I really love getting comments from you guys and a lot of feedback. It's very good to know and a lot of things I can learn from you guys. That way I can keep making tutorials and just having a lot of fun getting to know you guys. Um, if you have extra information you want to tell me and you can't provide it in the comments, please PM me. Sending a message on YouTube by going to my channel and clicking sending me a message. And don't forget to subscribe. That really helps me a lot and um, helps me make, make funds so I can keep making videos for you guys and also provide giveaways and things like that. So make sure you subscribe and just keep watching my videos. Thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, this is Lightcast Studios. See you next time.